Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Mr. D Teaches Math. And tonight, one of the things that we're going to be reviewing is place value. Uh, and so our goals for the night uh, are to be able to recognize the place value of any digit from the thousandths to the billionth place. Uh, and I'll talk more about what that means in just a second. Uh, also, to read, write, and express numbers in both some, uh, standard and expanded form. And I'll uh, pardon the pun, but I'll expand on what that means later. And then to uh, demonstrate a recognition and an understanding of numbers in a meaningful context. So, uh, in the decimal system, which is what we use, the value of a digit in a number depends on its place in the number. So, the, the digit 3 has a different value in each of the following numbers. And so I'm giving some examples. There's the number 1348. The, the value of the 3 is 3 hundredths, or 3, or 3 zero, zero. Uh, this number, 731, the arrow's pointing to the 3 here, which is, means 3 tens, or 30. Uh, here it's, it's 1s, uh, so there's 3 1s, or, or 3, and here it's 3 tenths, and here's 3 hundredths. Um, and so the value of 3 changes from number to number here. Um, but what we do is, here is we express the total value of the number. So it's, you know, here it's 300, here it's 30, here it's 3, here it's 0 0.3, here it's uh, 0.03. Okay? Now, let's work on a couple of, couple of examples. Oops. Uh, let's imagine for a second that we could actually just walk to the moon. Uh, what that means is we take about uh, 548,570,000 steps, approximately, it's an estimate. Uh, and the walk would actually take us about 8.59 years, non-stop. Um, now, a place value table uh, can help us read and write numbers like this. Okay, and so here we have a place value table, and it's separated into different sections, starting at trillions, to billions, millions, thousands, ones, and then there's a, there are decimal places here, and then the first three places after the decimal um, called tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. Um, and you need to know this stuff because oftentimes in our math throughout the year I'll say, figure out what the answer to this question is, please round your answer to the nearest hundredth or the nearest tenth. So you really you need to know the, the places after the decimal as well. Uh, but also notice that each of these sort of larger blocks are broken down into three different sections. Each one's broken down into a hundred, a ten, and a one. So here is like hundred trillion, ten trillions, one trillions, hundred billions, ten billions, one billions, etc., etc. So the number that we're working with up here, this five four eight five seven zero 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 zero, can get written like this. Uh, we, we start in the millions, so it's five hundred. 48,570,000. Okay, that's how we say that number, that's how it all gets organized in the, um, in the place value chart. Uh, also, you'll notice there are little, little spaces between sort of the groupings of numbers. Okay, uh, these groupings of numbers, uh, the technical term is, is, is in, they're called periods. Um, so this is the millions period, this is the thousands period, and the ones period. Um, that number, 8.59, or 8 and 59 hundredths, goes like this. There's the 8 in the one spot here, and then the 5 goes in the tenths spot, and the 9 goes in the hundredths. Um, to pronounce this, um, it's 8 and 59 hundredths. You look at the last digit and see what place value it's in. So if there was another number here, say there was a 4 here, Let's say it's eight and five hundred and ninety four thousandths. Okay? So that's our place value chart. Uh, now, the last thing that we're going to talk about is standard and expanded form. Now that number, 548,570,000, is in standard form. Uh, so if I ask you to write your answer in standard form, that's what I'm looking for. Just write the number, whether it be whether it be something that big or whether it be like 10, or 15, or 11, or 121, I don't know. The expanded form of the number shows the total value of each digit. So basically, you, you break the number down like this. So it's five, 500 million is the value of this 5. So you write 500 million. 
And the next number is four, but it's in the 40, it's in the 10 million spot, so it's worth 40 million. Then 8 million, 500,000, 70,000. So that's, that's this number broken down, and then it gets, it goes even further. You say like, okay, so this is the 100 million spot, but it's five. It's five times 100 million. That's how you break that number down even further, because five times one is five, obviously. The 40 million gets broken down into four times 10 million. The 8 million gets broken down into eight times a million. The 500,000 gets broken down into five times 100,000. And then it's seven times 10,000, right? And you show your addition symbol between each of the number, oops, right there, each of the numbers that's broken down to, okay? Uh, similarly, the number 8.59, that's in standard form, or 8 and 59 hundredths is in standard, standard form. You, to break it down, it becomes 8 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.09, okay? And then that gets broken down. It's 8 times 1, because it's in the 1's spot. Uh, 5 times 0 0.1, because it's in the 10th spot. And then 9 times 0 0.01, because the 9 is in the 100th spot. So if I ask you to write a number in expanded form, uh, that is what I'm looking for. It's a breakdown of the total value of each number. So hopefully that is uh, clear as mud uh, in explaining place value, explaining standard form, and um, expanded form and standard form. And uh, we'll get some practice tomorrow. And if you obviously need any more help, I'm, I'm, willing, I'm available to help tomorrow during class. So have a great night, and uh, talk to you soon.